he got 51%. Half of the most committed partisan Republicans, older white, wanted somebody else. Now, it's in our interest that she dragged this out. Will that have an effect in a general election? Maybe, because remember, the one swing constituency right now in this country are college-educated suburban white people. Nikki Haley supporters, 50% of them would vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. She got 19% of the vote. If they switch and vote for Joe Biden in November, it's not going to even be close. Taylor Swift, her support is mainly centered around young people and particularly young women. In one Instagram story, Stories just last for 24 hours. One Instagram story, she got 68,000 of her fans to register to vote. Republicans have decided to make her public enemy number one. What you're supposed to be doing is suppressing the youth vote. And they are activating it more than anything I can possibly see. We're about a 52% Democratic country, 48% Republican. Just a little bit of a drop off in Democratic support. Republicans win. Move it three points. Get the Democratic performance to 55% and then you're 55-45. Three points. And one of the ways to push that three points is to get youth turned out. She could single-handedly get us to that magical 55-45. And I actually took a look at her at her tour schedule, and she's got this block of time off around the DNC convention. If you're reading that right, that she may be at the Democratic convention. Folks, I think on behalf of Daily Coast and Make It Plain, we can project. <laughs> <laughs> it's been re-elected president.